let us look at proposition number 34 of book 11 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, in equal parallelopipedal solids, the bases are reciprocally proportional to the heights and those parallelopipedal solids in which the bases are reciprocally proportional to heights are equal. So reciprocally proportional basically means that if two solids are equal, that means their volumes are equal, then if the base of CD increases, the height will reduce. And if the base is reduced, the height will increase. And that is to maintain the equality of the solids. So let's see how we can prove this. So here, there are basically two situations, two cases. One is when the legs of the solids are perpendicular to the base. And the other is when they are not perpendicular to the bases. So let's take the first case first. Given solids A, B and C, D such that the legs are perpendicular to the bases and the volume of A, B is equal to volume of C, D or in short A, B is equal to C, D. Now, within this, one of the situation is when the bases are equal. So, if E, H that is the base of A, B is equal to NQ, that is the base of CD. And we are given that AB equal to CD. That means the heights will also be same. As you can see, the heights that is CM and AG are equal if the bases are equal. So now let's take the other case. If EH is greater than NQ and AB equal to CD implies CM is also greater than AG. In this case, let's first make this EH greater than NQ. So here EH is greater than NQ. So now we make CT equal to AG. So we construct another solid on the base NQ such that the height of that solid is equal to the height of AB. So here CT is equal to AG. And remember AB is equal to CD. Now AB, solid AB is to solid CV as EH is to NQ. We know solids are proportional to their bases. CD is to CV as the parallelogram MQ is to the parallelogram TQ. Remember that proposition which we saw that if a plane cuts a parallelopipedal solid then the solids are proportional to their bases. So CD is to CV is equal to MQ is to PQ. And we know again these parallelograms MQ and PQ are proportional to their bases. That is CM is to CT. EH is to NQ. EH is to NQ is equal to CM is to CT. Why? Because AB is equal to CD. See here AB is to CV is equal to EH is to NQ. Here CD is to CV is equal to MQ is to TQ is equal to CM is to CT. So here AB and CD are equal. So that means the right hand sides will also be equal and C, CV is common to both. So that means right hand sides are also equal. So we can say EH is to NQ 
is equal to cm is to cp but ct is equal to ag so which means eh is to nq is equal to cm is to ag so we have shown that the bases are reciprocally proportional to their heights here if eh is greater than nq eh is greater than nq then cm is greater than ag if eh is less than nq then cm is less than ag so that is what is meant by reciprocally proportional so now let's look at the converse of this that means we are given two solids whose bases are reciprocally proportional to their heights so here if eh is to nq is equal to cm is to ag and eh is equal to nq the first case then ab will also be equal to cd but if eh is to nq is equal to cm is to ag and eh is greater than nq implies that cm is greater than ag so again we repeat the same construction make ct is equal to ag and complete the solid cb so now eh is to nq equal to cm is to ag we have already shown that now eh is to nq is equal to cm is to ct since ag is equal to ct so cm is to ct is equal to cm is to ct is equal to the parallelograms on them that is mq is to tq and the same ratio will be applicable in case of the solids on those parallelograms that is cd is to cb eh is to nq is equal to ab is to cv since ab is the solid on eh and cv is the solid on nq so we have these two statements so here eh is to nq we can ignore the middle parts and directly say is equal to cd is to cv because they are all equal to each other so that means ab is to cv is equal to cd is to cb look at this here ab is to cb is equal to cd is to cb that means ab and cd have the same ratio with respect to cb means ab is equal to cd so we have shown that if two parallelopipedal solids ab and cd are such that the legs are perpendicular to the bases and AB is equal to CD, then their bases are reciprocally proportional to their heights and vice versa. That is, if their bases are reciprocally proportional to their heights, then the solids are equal. Now, this was the case when these legs were perpendicular. Now we have to look at the case when they are not perpendicular. So that's our next step. So given solids A, B and C, D such that the legs are not perpendicular to the bases and solid A, B is equal to solid C, D. We draw perpendicular lines to the plane of reference from G, F, B, K to the plane of reference yes and we mark the intersection of these perpendicular lines with the plane of reference as t s u b and similarly from m o d r we draw perpendiculars and mark the points of intersection with the plane of reference as x w y a i think you already got the idea of how we are going to do that so we have completed the solids f v fv and oa 
AB is equal to CD and we know AB is equal to BT and CD is equal to OA again based on one of our previous propositions. FK is to OR FK the parallelogram FK is to parallelogram OR is equal to mx is to gt how is how are we getting this fk is to or is equal to mx is to gt this is what we proved when the legs were perpendicular just previous to this in this proposition itself in the beginning we proved that so here basis now here we are treating fk as the base and or as the base so bases are reciprocally proportional to the heights. So Fk is to OR is equal to Mx is to GT. But Fk is equal to EH. Fk is equal to EH. And OR is equal to NQ. So that means Instead of saying FK is to OR, we say EH is to NQ is equal to MX is to GT. Height of AB is equal to height of CD is equal to MX is equal to GT. Because the heights of all these solids are equal. So which means EH is to NQ is equal to height of CD is to height of AB because MX is the height of CD and GT is the height of AB. So again we have proved that the bases are reciprocally proportional to the heights of the solids even when the legs are not perpendicular to the bases. Now let's look at the converse of this. So our starting point is this proportion. So solids A, B and C, D where E, H is to N, Q is equal to height of C, D is equal is to height of A, B. E, H is equal to F, K and N, Q is equal to O, R. F, K is to O, R is equal to height of C, D is to height of A, B. Height of AB equal to height of CD is equal to MX is equal to GT. So we have FK is to OR is equal to MX is to GT because height of CD is equal to MX and height of uh, AB is equal to GT. So what does that imply? It implies that FV solid FV is equal to solid OA. Since AB is equal to FV and CD is equal to OA implies that AB is equal to CD. So again when the legs are not perpendicular to their bases we have again shown that if the bases are reciprocally proportional to their heights then the solids are equal. So that is proposition number 34 of book 11 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now.